So the last part of the atmosphere topic that I want to talk about is atmospheric pollutants. Um, sadly, carbon dioxide is not the only problem we face uh, as, a, as, a, uh, as a modern civilization. We're putting other pollutants into the air all the time. Um, that's a photograph of Los Angeles there, and you can see a layer of smog. You can see blue sky at the top here, but then there's a sort of layer of brownish smog sitting over the city caused by, or mostly by, uh, cars. Um, cars' exhaust fumes being spat out. City of Angels, of course, is also the city of vehicles, and uh, there's a huge amount of pollution coming out of those vehicles every hour of every day, and on particularly still days it can build up and cause this layer of, of smog sitting over the city. So there's just a few pollutants that I want to uh, look at, and we've got a summary sharp slide as well. Um, so nitrogen oxides, um, like, like uh, carbon can have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, there's, there's several oxides of nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen trioxide, and some others. So we usually just sort of summarize them all as nitrogen oxides with a general formula NOx. Um, nitrogen oxides are formed in cars uh, when nitrogen and oxygen gases react at high temperatures, uh, car engines. So the nitrogen and the oxygen react and form, well I'll just do one simple oxide, nitrogen oxide like that. Uh, that can happen when the, um, when the cylinders compress the, the gases, because of course car engines need a lot of air in order to burn all the, 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 the fuel, the petrol that's in the, in the car engine. They also have spark plugs which initiate the tiny little explosion that takes place in the, in the, um, the cylinder for each stroke. Um, and that's enough for the nitrogen and oxygen gases, which just come in together. Nitrogen is 78% of the air and oxygen's most of the rest, uh, to react and form the nitrogen oxide pollution. Uh, some of the effects of nitrogen oxides, well, it, um, it will contribute to or exacerbate uh, asthma. Contribute to... Um, it also contributes to acid rain. I'll, I'll come back to that in a moment. Um, and um, smog as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's fairly hor horrible stuff. Uh, the next oxide uh, we'll talk about is carbon monoxide. Uh, you'll remember from topic nine, uh, crude oil and fuels, we talked about complete and incomplete combustion. So you remember complete combustion. Uh, so if methane burns in, in oxygen, then we make um, carbon dioxide and water. That would be a complete combustion reaction. Incomplete combustion Well, we've got we've got some options here. Let's just take a different fuel. Um, carbon monoxide. We always get water, or we could have just carbon. So carbon monoxide um, can be produced any time you don't have enough oxygen to burn all the fuel, which in a car is going to happen because you. You've got to get all the, the air from outside, even if you've got a turbo, it's one of these little fans that pushes even more air into the car engine. It's still very difficult to get enough air to burn all the fuel. So carbon monoxide is an inevitable uh, product of, of the car engines. Um, fortunately, the catalytic converter uh, converts nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxides into safer gases, things like nitrogen and CO2. 
And yeah, I know CO2 contributes to global warming, but um, CO2 gas itself is relatively harmless. Carbon monoxide um, is toxic. So uh, the nitrogen oxides and the carbon monoxides go through the catalytic converter and come out as much safer um, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. And yeah, I know I haven't balanced these equations, but why don't, why don't you do that? A little task for you. Um, uh, okay, so, so modern car engines don't produce carbon monoxide or or nitrogen oxides, um, or at least they, they, they shouldn't do. Um, but uh, they do produce um, pollutants called particulates. Particulates are very, very small particles of matter. We already talked about unburnt fuel in the form of carbon. You can get other forms of unburnt fuel coming out of car engines and also from power station it comes out of these tiny particles they're actually too small to to see um, we've probably all had that experience of you see a kind of dirty old diesel maybe an old van go down the road and you can see smoke belching out of the exhaust pipe at the back but uh, in this case um, we're talking about particles that are so small you can't really see them um, uh, they also contribute to smog. Uh, you can get this sort of toxic mix of unburnt particulates and nitrogen dioxides, and then the sun comes down and all sorts of photochemistry happens and, and produces this smog. Um, but it also uh, gets deep into your lungs and can cause cancer, which is, of course, something we, we don't want. Okay, so I've uh, oh, I have an unsulfur dioxide, have I? I've put a summary there. I'm looking nervously at the clock because I'm running out of time. But let's just do sulfur dioxide. So sulfur forms tiny impurities in. Uh, fossil fuels, especially things like coal uh, and oil. People often refer to coal as a, as a dirty fuel. It's because it contains lots of these impurities. And when the, when the fossil fuel burns, the sulfur burns as well and produces sulfur dioxide. And that contributes to acid rain. So acid rain is where the sulfur dioxide goes up into the atmosphere, uh, dissolves in rainwater and then falls as this slightly acidic rain. I mean, it's not acid like it's going to burn your skin. It's just slightly more acidic than normal rain. But that's enough to, um, uh, to kill fish in, in lakes. The, the lakes can't, uh, can't do anything with the acid. Um, and it'll also kill plant life and, and things like trees. Uh, and it'll damage uh, any buildings, um, especially if they're made of metal or also uh, like calcium carbonate, um, like, uh, like limestone. If you've got an old limestone church, then over the years the, um, the, the building will get damaged by, um, uh, by acid rain. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop there. I hope that's made some sense and uh, enjoy your revision.